Here's how to replace the parking brake cable. In our case, the handle broke off, and so we want to put a new cable in there and hook our old handle to it. Uh, it's, this is really an easy job. The thing goes through here, so the cable comes in. It just kind of pressure fits in here, and then there's two little balls. This little ball is in the lever that actually activates the parking brake. So you just stretch this backwards, take the ball out, and then pop this sideways. Popping that sideways out of there. And then from here, we're gonna need to push this in. So you, somehow you'll have to get your parking brake lever, off, your parking brake handle off of here if it's already on there. But then you just twist this, twist this sideways and push it through. There we go, and then you just push it through. So it's, it's a lot longer than it looks. It's looped around in a big cable and it's held by this clip. So we need to release that clip and then we take it out. So there's a look at the whole thing after it's been liberated from the truck. I don't know why it's this long, but it goes up under your dashboard in a circle. It's held on by this clip and that's the unit. Here's a close up look at that clip. I twisted it sideways a little bit and popped it loose. I think rather than trying to fight with it when it's under the dashboard, when you'd be likely to break it, it's easier to just pop the part that fits into the round hole out. I just squeezed this with pliers and pushed up on it, took the whole clip out into the house and then figured out how to open it. Now we just make sure the new one is the same size and shape as the old one. And then put the clip on it and bring it back out to the truck. All right, we've got our loop in place. So we're gonna just shove it up there with the loop facing up and then bring the pull part of it through this hole. You can see there's, it's gated. There's a square part and a skinny part. So you just shove it through and rotate it to get it to lock in. So get it through the hole and just rotate it that way so that, it, that, that it's flat. Whoops, I don't know if you saw that. I just grabbed it with pliers and rotated it. And now it's on the right plane and I'll be able to snap my handle onto it. The end bead is pretty easy. You just pull that back snap it in there. If I'm able to do this with one hand holding a phone, you got you should have no problem doing it. And then just pressure fit that in there. I'm gonna need two hands for that. And then snap this baby back in its hole to hold it all together and we're good. So final product from end to end. I've got the ball in the hole here. This is jammed in here. I've got my clip here holding the loop, keeping it from going wild. Then on the outside, all we have to do is jam our handle onto here and we're good. Take your handle. Fit it over here and give it a push and try it out. Brake, no brake, brake, no brake, excellent.